it seems like everything is pointing towards Google putting out a console. Is this happening? What do we think? Get ready for Tuesday with our predictions here on Forget Being Cool. You're watching Forget Being Cool. Hi, Dave. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to finish this sentence because I've recorded it. To, I almost had it the first time. John, it seems like Google is actually about to put out a console. Here's the question, though. Yeah. Is it really going to be a console? I get the impression that it's not. And people are blowing this out of proportion. Yet, part of my gut feeling says, for this to matter at all, they have to put out a real console. Well, okay. Let me throw this option at you. Okay. Now, I heard someone say that it could be a streaming device. So, let's go off that. Okay. Now, there's been... What was it called? What was their their cloud thing? Not xCloud. I'm, Project Stream. But, yeah. So, Project Stream, right? Mm -hmm. So, they had that. They've tested it. I've used it, and it worked amazing. Right. I was able to play uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey on my Surface tablet. Oh, well... The, my Surface 3, right, super low end. Um, I was able to do it over Wi-Fi. Uh, I was very close to my router, mm -hmm. and it worked. I saw no noticeable de dis uh, delay, unlike our conversation now. And um, <laughs> different Wi-Fi. Yeah, I had I had my comp you know, my my Xbox controller plugged into my computer, and it worked flawlessly. Now let's say they put out a small box. Mm -hmm. controller input connection to your tv it would need to have wi-fi it would need to have a ethernet port because ideally you're doing this on a wired connection right and that's all it needs like it, it, it could damn near be like a raspberry pi inside this thing because it doesn't i mean it needs to be more than that but it doesn't need to computing power it just needs to be able to pass through the display to your tv and have your controller as an input, and they need to be able to have something to, that where they have the games. Right. They they need a, a storefront, which they yeah. already have with Google Play. They just need to add real games to it. Yes, and if they're able to do this with Assassin's Creed, right, then there's no reason. I, I have no doubt they'd be able to do it with everything else. Now they'd be running everything off their own servers, but let's be honest, it's Google. They, they have plenty of servers. Like, is, I, I don't is, see this being an issue. This is their mastering. This is why YouTube is what it is. They have this structure. They've built servers to run anything. It's Google. Now, I mean, I, I think if what we're getting is a streaming box, right? Let's, let's stick to this for a minute. I want to have the debate about whether we're getting a real console in a second, too. Okay. But... There's also an opportunity here to not only give you that box, it'll be super cheap because Google makes their money on your information, not on – they do. You laugh, but it's true. Google – that's but, why YouTube is a free service. But would they still be making their money off your information if Are there all the information they're getting is is, you know – what game you want to buy and you say ads can you imagine playing you're in the middle of a big game and it just takes a break and it's like 15 second ad or like this 30 second ad and at the bottom it has like a countdown to five seconds of when you can like click to skip it and continue your game that'd be terrible now, it w yes that would be terrible but imagine if the experience what like the price was so cheap that you got the opportunity to play these games for an extremely reasonable value does it bother you that maybe in the storefront there's ads on your home screen? There's Google ads. There's If it's on the storefront, no. If it pops up in the middle of your game like it does on a YouTube video, yes. What about like on a phone where it kind of like pops up from the bottom? If it blocks my screen, if it blocks my gameplay at all, it's going to fail. Like people are not going to be okay with this. What if the box only costs you a hundred bucks and it comes with a controller 
I would still not use it if it had an ad in the bottom of the screen. Okay. I think there's a possibility that that's what we're getting is some sort of experience like that. Now, not necessarily the ad thing, but I think what Google has to have as an advantage here, John, is to allow us to have a YouTube service on the TV, like your YouTube, your Google account, everything is attached to your Google account, therefore giving you this unified experience across your Android phones, your Google consoles, your Google homes, right? You can now control your lights and everything from your TV. You now have a actual physical interface, a Chromecast. Nobody buys Chromecast because it's kind of a stupid thing that doesn't have any way of interacting or controlling it other than using your phone. This now gives you an actual physical box that also allows you to play games. And I think that's the opportunity that Google has here more than saying they're going to put out the fourth console. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I, I think they're in a situation where they can't put out the fourth one, right? Like, they... They cannot come out with, here's another device that plays discs, that has games on it, that's playing the same third-party games as all the rest of them. Right. Right? Like, that's not going to like, – there's what no if, reason at this point for anyone to go that way. They need to go with the straight streaming thing, and they need to make it very inexpensive. And it, But if they put the ads in it, people are going to be like, well, screw this. It's not worth it. But they have to make money somewhere if they're going to lose money on the hardware itself. Which I think is what they have to do. Otherwise, it's a streaming cheap Roku box. And then but, at the but, same question, then I say, why wouldn't they just put this app on everything? Which they so, may. Yeah. It, it, well, one, yes, they may. But also, it doesn't have to be an expensive device for them to make. I mean, right. Like I said, like it doesn't need computing power. So for people like you that are currently on a limited bandwidth situation... This is probably not going to work, John. Do they? So, so, so do they have well, to? Do they have okay. to put out a real box, like a real console? No, no they shouldn't. They sh- they definitely shouldn't. But here's what's funny: is it's like, okay, we're going to put out this thing, and this thing is going to be inexpensive. It's for you people out there that don't want to spend money on it. But by the way, you better be spending a whole lot of money every month on your internet, or it's not going to work. Right. So it's like, <laughs> it I. Oh man, I did not think about that combination. And how it's like almost aiming at two different groups of people and oh man. There are there are plenty of areas still in this country, the US, the United States of America that do not have internet that is competent enough to run this. My internet's good, but it's not consistent. I don't rely on it to work for this. Yeah, no. Um Oh, man. Uh, so this box is going to go down in history as yet another company that tried to make a gaming thing that has failed. Yeah, you think that's actually the end scenario at, of this? At this point, I really am. And and it, I wasn't at first because, like <laughs> I said, I've tried the cloud stream, X stream, streamcast, whatever it's called. Um, and it worked great. Is this Google jumping on a, an industry first, the streaming market, which I think is actually the future, is Xbox being a service that's available on even your Nintendo Switch, right? 3S streaming. And is this them jumping into a thing like they did with Google Glass, right? And saying, we're going to be first. We're going to do it. We're going to get our Google cars out there and map the earth. But they're going to also stumble and make all the mistakes that in the end, things like Google plus are kind of a joke. Things like Google glass are kind of a joke is the Google Chromecast console. is what I'm going to name it. It's the, it's the Sega Chromecast. So, so honestly, I think it's one of the things where they were sitting in a board meeting mm-hmm. and they're like, you know what? We got this great idea. We got the streaming thing. We've tested it. It works. People are happy with it. People with good internet connections are happy with this thing. Right. And someone in the back of it's like, but there's a lot of people out there that don't have enough personal computers. And there's going to be kids out there that are going to want to do it. They don't have a personal computer they can hop on. It belongs to their dad or whatever, right? It's used for some other device. And someone else is like, aha, but wait, if we build this cheap-ass little box. Right. 
it'll do the same thing. Now, it doesn't have to have much guts to it. I still think there's an opportunity for this service to be available on Chromebooks, right? I think it would be available on any kind of computer at all. It wouldn't be a Chromebook necessarily. I think, yeah, anything that can run the Chrome browser, yeah. which at the same time then I say – I mean, Google could put a marketplace on the Xbox. I feel like nothing that Microsoft would do would want them to stop from doing that. I feel like at this point, with their consumer-friendly side of Xbox, and if Nintendo is really considering putting Xbox Live on their Switch, this just becomes another service that you can subscribe to on everything. Yeah. And in that case, it makes sense to me. Yet, then I don't know why they wouldn't just partner with somebody like Roku, you know, and say, yeah, we're here, let's be on everybody's device, we'll be on every smart TV in the world in a month, and then in two years it won't work on anybody's smart TV because we won't update the app. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that would that would be a thing that would have to happen, but in theory, I mean, in theory it would work because all it needs is a video pass-through in a... Internet you know, connection. controller connection and, and, and internet connection and my TV, like I can plug an Xbox controller into my TV right. and I can play, you know, what what is it? Steam, like um, the Steam thing where you can play off your computer onto a device. I could do that with my TV, Steam Link. I s- and my TV has that. I th- Coming into this conversation with you, John, I wanted to say they were going to actually put out a real console with real hardware in it. And yet, we talk about this more and more, and like none of that makes any sense. And that's where no, this it, them being the fourth console in this this group, right? If we got our Xboxes, our Nintendos, and our our Playstations, there is no room for anybody else. I hate to break it to the world. No one can step in here with their own box and control. Well, but here's the thing. Is is the way the future is going? I mean, look, right. look at Xbox is putting out a diskless system, right? So it's not all streaming, but they're putting out a diskless system, and now they're working on this Project X Cloud, right. which is a streaming thing. So they could be slowly, they could basically be slowly moving in the direction that we're kind of describing potentially with this Google thing is going to be, but Google's <laughs> doing it first. Now, does that mean they're going to last? Maybe Probably. not, but they could literally be jumping ahead of what Microsoft's 15, 20 year plan is. Right. And I think that's the only thing that makes sense here. You know, what would help Google is they, they have Sega and as a partner. Is, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it's not going to help them at all. Uh, they need to fund. This is the worst idea. I'm, I'm sure there is a major business flaw to this. Um, uh, but just fund high-speed gigabyte internet to the entire United States. Except they've started trying Everyone to do fl- that, and then every city gets in their way and says, well, see, there's restrictions about us adding a bunch of power poles everywhere because, you know, adding Google Fiber, that would compete with Verizon Fios, and Verizon already paid us a lot of money to put these in Cleveland. So... You know, about the thing yep. about putting the Google Fiber in, we uh, you got to wait 6 to 17 years. We're not really sure how many. Uh, so just, just go be in Seattle or, uh, you know, Ontario, Canada, where they're different. That's that's my that's my uh, political... Okay, so first of all, I don't know if it's in Ontario or not. It's definitely not in Seattle. It's not. It's not. Um, <laughs> but, but, like, if if they could do that... And give free internet, which I mean, there's always that there's that theory people are having about how basically everywhere is going to be a giant free Wi-Fi, and I don't know. I, I think it has to. But like, if they can do that, it's not going to be free. If 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 they could put this out, and then ever, it'd be like, hey, now everyone's got this high speed internet. Here's this console thing, and now you're pay- and now everyone's just buying their games from them because it's streaming on this and just using the internet. I'm sure it would take a long time for that to pay off, and it could easily fail. But now, that's how you do it. Now, here's my last thing. Imagine it's okay. a subscription service. It's $10 a month, and it's like a ton of random third-party stuff, like brand new stuff. Are you but, talking like a Game Pass type thing? Yes, yeah, like a Game Pass thing, but they made a deal with like Ubisoft, Sega, 
I don't know who else, Activision, EA, and said, like, we want your games two months after they become the Netflix of gaming. Does this matter, and does that make you go buy this box? I think if they, they do that, this box is probably going to be affordable. I can't imagine it's more than $200. Like, that's my maximum. Oh, this thing needs to be, like, sub-150. I think for it to be the, like, slam down, you know, party in the park kind of thing, you're right. Party in the park. What does that even mean? It has to be. I don't know, but I like it. I have to start saying that. Party in the park. $150 or less for it to be yes. exciting. Would you pay for this so, to have that service to play a bunch of random Assassin's Creed games and Ubisoft games? <sighs> So it would mm. streaming. They'd all be streaming. If I if I had a known high quality enough internet service, mm. if the people they partnered up with and the games they were going to have, if I had faith in the continuousness of them putting out something I'd want to play and my son would want to play, I would consider it. But at this point, I can't think of anything that will honestly hear tomorrow or tomorrow, whenever it Monday, is it comes out. Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, Monday. The I, night, the I cannot think of, <laughs> I cannot think of anything will honestly hear that day that's going to have you buy. It's like my son. I was telling him that like, Google's putting out this thing, and he's like, "Are we going to get it? Because we have everything else." And I was like, mm, "Probably not." I, so, I'm I mean, on unless the, we want, I'm on unless we want Crossy Roads and Flappy Birds. On a system, not to mention, they showed that controller. Now, I don't know if that's the actual controller no, or if that was that's, a that's controller some, based on a, a patent. That's a, Yeah, that's a controller based off a patent. Everyone needs to stop stop okay. criticizing these my square issue, handles. It's not going to look like that. They're insane. My issue is not so much the shape, right, even though it did not look comfortable. My issue was, from those pictures, it did not show the trigger buttons. It just had the bumpers, but not the triggers. And it better have all those buttons. It has all those buttons. This is this is people freaking out. It's in our thumbnail. People need to stop calming. They need to calm down. It's not going to look like that. Stop calming down. Stop calming down. Be be calm. Stay calm. Hi, John. Stay calm and Google on. All right, Dave. Thanks That's for all my predictions, man. I, I agree with you. I think the only thing this can be is a streaming box, except... If they come out and announce a, a you know, seventeen seven thousand teraflop Xbox twelve compatible console, right? Like ten times the power of the Xbox One X or something, I'm gonna freak out. Seven hundred dollars, not gonna buy it, but I'm gonna freak out. This is not gonna happen, Dave. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here. Welcome to the channel. This is for Get Being Cool. We discuss the things you love Monday through Thursday. Try hitting that subscribe button. It's fun. We talk about movies, music, video games, all the cool stuff that you like. I'm Dave Moore. That's Johnny Casino. Links in the description. Bye. For more great discussions, hit that subscribe button or visit forgetbeingcool.com.